Methods. There are three different methods to allocating cost. The physical unit method, the gross profit method, and the net realizable value method. We are going to start with the physical units method. First we want to split the raw material into chemical A and chemical B. We want to allocate the joint cost to the two different chemicals. When using the physical units method, you need to make sure that the chemicals are measured in the same units in order to use this method. The joint cost is $200,000. The production is 200 liters of A and 100 liters of B. And we can sell A for 90 cents a liter and sell B for 60 cents a liter. Now we want to add the 200 liters with the 100 liters to get a total of 300 liters. Now we want to prorate the $200,000. To do this, you'll divide the 200,000 liters by the total 3,000 liters to get the percentage 66.67% for chemical A. For chemical B, you will divide the 100 liters with the 300 liters to get a percentage of 33.3%. After that, you will multiply the joint cost by these percentages. For chemical A, you would multiply the $200,000 by the 66.6% .6 to get a total of 133,340 dollars. For chemical B, you'd multiply the 200,000 by the 33.3 percent to get a total of 66,660. We know that chemical A will yield 180,000 dollars in revenue and to get that you will multiply the 90 cents by the 200 liters for chemical A. For chemical B, you'll multiply the 60 cents by the 100 liters for, to yield a $60,000 in revenue. In order to find the profit, you will subtract the cost from the revenue. For chemical A, the profit would be 46660 and for chemical B, there will be a loss of 6660 because there's a loss on chemical B, this would not be the best method to use for allocating cost. Now we're going to use the gross profit method for the same problem. This problem we want to allocate the $200,000. So this, we will have the 200 liters of A and 100 liters of B and we sell A for 90 cents per liter and B for 60 cents per liter. So now we want to multiply the 90 cents with the 200 liters to get $180,000 for chemical A. For chemical B, we'll multiply the 60 cents by the 100 liters to get $60,000. We'll add that together to get $240,000. Now to prorate it, you will divide the $180,000 by the $240,000 to get 75% for chemical A. For chemical B, you will divide $60,000 by $240,000 to get 25%. Make sure your percentages add up to 100%. To get the joint cost, you will take the 75% and multiply it by the $200,000. This will give you $150,000. Then you take the 25% and multiply it by the $200,000 and you'll get the $50,000. To get the profit, if we were to sell chemical A, you would take the $180,000 minus the $150,000 and that will give you $30,000. For chemical B, you would take the $60,000 minus the $50,000 and that will give you $10,000. Now we are going to do the net realizable value method. We've added a little more information to this problem. We have further processing of A 
will cost $80,000 while B will cost $20,000. A will yield $1.50 per liter and B will yield $1 per liter. Now you will take the liters for chemical A of 200,000 and multiply it by the $1.50 per liter to get a total of $300,000. And for chemical B, you will multiply the 100,000 liters by $1 to get $100,000. Then to get the net realizable value, you would take the $300,000 minus the processing cost of chemical A for $80,000 to get a total of $220,000. For chemical B, you would take the $100,000 minus the processing cost of $20,000 and it will equal $80,000. Then you will add the net realizable value together to get a total of $300,000. Then for chemical A, you would divide the $220,000 by the total of $300,000 to get a percentage of 73.33%. And for chemical B, you would divide $80,000 by $330,000 to get 26.67%. After that, you will multiply the joint cost by these percentages to allocate the cost to both chemicals. Chemical A will equal 146,660 and chemical B equals 53,340. To get the total cost for chemical A, you would add the processing cost of $80,000 to the joint cost of $146,660 to get a total of $226,660. For chemical B, you would add $20,000 plus the $53,340 to get a total of $73,340.